I am Archbishop Thomas Lokumsusa, coming from Malawi, and I take care of Metropolitan Archdiocese of Blantyre in Malawi. And uh, I am here in Rome because uh, we have just finished our ad limina visit, which happens every five years, but this time our last visit to Rome, to Italy, was in 2014. Indeed, our presence here in the Vatican this year has been very special, very different from uh, the one that took place in 2014, because this year we were really, as bishops, we are very touched because of uh, what happened in Malawi. Uh, we received uh, um, this cyclone called Freddy, which was very devastating, very threatening, and was a challenge for the church and the whole country in Malawi. We were touched because as soon as the cyclone Freddy really destroyed lives and property in Malawi, we saw the Holy Father, Pope Francis, immediately responded by declaring and also by uh, asking us to say to not to lose hope and also by inviting people of goodwill throughout the, uh, the, the world to support Malawi. That message was very important for us and it was encouraging and that gave us some hope. The Holy Father really played a very big role positively for the invitation he made uh, throughout the world to support Malawi. I am close to the people of Malawi, hit in recent days by a very strong cycle. So what really happened in Malawi, especially in the Metropolitan Archdiocese of Blanta and the other dioceses in the southern region, was really very, very threatening for the lives of many. We were not very ready to welcome Cyclone Freddy we didn't know what it was. And uh, it, along the way, so many lives were destroyed because people were not ready. It was an unexpected uh, event uh, uh, which really threatened the lives of the people. Uh, the villages which were constructed along the, in the sloppy uh, hills were washed away and many people died, houses destroyed, properties destroyed. As soon as it happened, I, as the Archbishop of the Archdiocese, I had to go around to visit these people who were affected. Schools were closed because in the schools around the Archdiocese were uh, a home for, the, for those displaced. Families, children, women and old people are now kept in the schools, school rooms and also in the churches and health centers. So this visit uh, to the Vatican this year has been so special. We've come to thank the Holy Father for the appeal he made, but also to share uh, this uh, event, which was really life-threatening, to share with the officers here in the Vatican. Um, and also, uh, I was also inviting the, the bishops, uh, the cardinals here, to do the same as the Holy Father did, to invite people of goodwill to support Malawi. What do we need now? As I go back to Malawi, uh, it will join the people who are suffering, uh, who don't have any shelter, they don't have any food, no clothes, no blankets, nothing. They are really waiting for me uh, to hear a word of hope. Therefore, I make this appeal to you people who are listening, uh, who are able to see me, that really uh, people in Malawi are in, uh, uh, in great need. The most important thing the people need now is food. They are looking for food. That's the immediate thing now. They are looking for food. And also, uh, as we go along, you know, these people are shattered in uh, classrooms, in our churches, in our health centers. That means also, you know, uh, they, they have to go back. They have to start again constructing houses. Uh, they have to start again looking for uh, materials uh, to help them to live on. So they will need also some equipment for the construction of their houses. They will look for land 
a new land also. So they need a lot of uh, things, money and also materials uh, to support uh, as they are going to start a new home, a new life. Therefore, I invite uh, people of goodwill. Uh, first, I thank them who have contrib already contributed for your prayers and whatever you have given. But life continues. The problems really continue because the people have to go back to their villages. They have to go to start again a new life. So we need a lot of support. As I said, a lot of support, food and uh, clothes and uh, uh, materials for the construction of houses and many more. As for the school children, they will need, you know, uh, writing materials, uh, again for them also a new life. They don't have anything because others had to run away without anything. So all the books that the people, the pupils had, they were washed away. So I really uh, need and appeal for support to, to Malawi, Dash Dash and the other dioceses in the southern region of Malawi. Another support we need is our prayers. No, we need prayers so that we should have this hope, this time for Easter. Uh, we know that Jesus suffered, uh, crucified, and then there will be new life it is, uh, at the moment. So people should have, even if they have, that, they have suffered a lot, they should have that hope that indeed after everything there is new life in Jesus. There is resurrection. So I invite you all to really pray for the people of Malawi. Another very important thing which really I wanted to tell you that Malawi, which is uh, one of the poorest countries in the, in the world, has suffered a lot. Know where we are coming from. We know that uh, we had that devastating uh, COVID-19. And soon after that, we had the uh, a cholera last year in October, you know, in Malawi normally we experience that disease, cholera, when it is rainy season. But last year we had a, that uh, disease called cholera in October, eh, in dry season. People started dying and I said, no, but what is happening now? This issue, this uh, disease normally comes when there is a lot of water in the villages, uh, no clean water, but at this, that moment, in October last year, people were dying of cholera when it was so dry. That was another event which really uh, surprised the people of Malawi. From there, then, we received this cyclone, Freddy, of which we know that because of the water, the, the rain, uh, the water has spread all over the villages, which means the disease, the cholera disease will spread because people need clean water. So all these really have affected the people of Malawi. Yes, we need your closeness, we need your prayers, we need your word of uh, support. That means we are really waiting for whatever you're going to contribute so that people of Malawi may have life life in abundance, as Jesus always uh, tells us. With these few words, I once again appeal to you. There are people in need. They don't have food. They don't have uh, clothes. They don't have uh, shelter. No blankets. No medicine. And they need message of hope.